Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing Georgia Tech's digital marketing course, which I took as part of their OMSCS program. I finished this course a few months back in the spring 2024 semester. I took it with graduate algorithms while also working full time. My last review will be on graduate algorithms. That video will be coming out at 9 a.m. Pacific next Friday. I don't have any videos planned after that, so if there's something that you're interested in hearing about, feel free to leave it in the comments below. So I took this course because I was eager to graduate and was also going to be taking graduate algorithms, which is a harder course, so I was looking for an easier course to pair with it. I had also taken global entrepreneurship in the previous semester, which I reviewed in my last video, and I didn't get as much as I wanted out of that course, so I wanted to take another business-oriented class. The content of the course is organized into weekly modules. Each week there's a short series of pre-recorded lectures that are usually about 30 minutes long. They cover topics like digital ads, including display ads and search ads, search engine optimization, different digital marketing channels, including video, mobile, email, and social media. And the last module is on using analytics to optimize digital marketing. As part of these modules, there are weekly writing assignments related to the lecture material. These were either mini cases or major case reflections. In the semester that I took the course, there were nine mini cases and five major case reflections. In the mini cases, you read a short case study from the textbook, which is usually around one page, and then you answer three questions related to the case study, which usually ends up being three paragraphs. The major case reflections are a longer version of the mini cases. In these, you read a longer case study that's usually five to 15 pages, and then answer three longer form questions, which usually ends up being about two to three pages. There were two exams, a midterm and a final, both were closed note and 35 questions each. These exams were fairly easy. I studied five hours for the midterm and ended up getting an 86%, and I studied 10 hours for the final and got a 100%. I studied for these exams by rewatching the lectures and rereading the textbook and case studies. As for my thoughts on the course, I'll start off by saying that this course is very, very light. It's definitely the easiest course that I took in OMSCS. I probably spend an average of two to three hours per week on it. Though it is very easy, it's also very well organized, which was in stark contrast to the course I reviewed last week, Global Entrepreneurship. I thought that the lectures were very clear, and I really enjoyed the case studies, and I think that that's something that Global Entrepreneurship should definitely adopt. This class is actually a really useful introduction to digital marketing for someone who's unfamiliar with the topic, and it's a great course to pair with another course if you're looking to graduate faster. So that's it for this review. It's gonna end up being pretty short because this is such a light class. Next week, I'll be reviewing graduate algorithms, which is definitely gonna end up being more in depth. That video should be pretty fun because that class is so polarizing. So definitely subscribe if you're interested. See you next time.